Hey there guys, it's Joey and this is sort of a requested video from the lovely Diana. We were talking this morning and she was talking about Vesta powder and how she had some and she hadn't tried it yet. And I was just talking a little bit about giving some advice about the first few times you use it. And I thought, well, I offered to show her how I started using it so you, you get used to it. And I thought I would just basically make a video about Vesta powder while we're at it. So. In front of you can see my cauldron and it's many many stages of trying to keep it away from the floor. I really really need a table but there you go. So the charcoal disc is going and I'm just going to put some of my purification herbal blend on there. Oh, there you go. Fizzy fizzy. So that's that and I'm going to talk a little bit about what the powder actually is. Um, and why it's reference and why it's called Vesta powder. So we shall read a few bits and pieces on it. It's to honour Vesta, the Ro I think she's Roman goddess of the hearth, the sacred fire and maternity. So it's all about the sacred fire aspect and you'll see what it does and, and why in a minute. Sprinkle around the room where any magical rituals are to take place and as an enticement for the flame of brightness to enrich the services. It's very highly flammable Vesta powder, so if I wouldn't put it in around your room anywhere permanent if it were me, but there you go. Also burnt to accomplish all aims, to clear premises of evil spirits, harmful gossip, or whatever special intentions are required of Vesta. And it's basically all tied in with the idea of the sacred flame. I'm going to find another point of reference to read to you so we can, we can gauge different things. But to me it's a bit like the, the dragon's blood resin. It sort of empowers things even more. Um, it's very very good for working within the home obviously because Vesta's realm is supposed to be within the home and hearth but then again it's also brilliant for sacred spaces and temple work because it has that sacred spiritual aspect. It can be quite hard to get hold of because it's flammable and um, you're probably only going if you can buy it in a shop locally then you're fine. Um, buying online pain in the backside. I used to buy it when Magic Rose was open and they're no longer open and um, apparently it uh, stops sexual tension as well. <laughs> uh, okay, what else have we got? Yeah, it dispels evil and bad vibrations. That's its main function as long as far as I'm concerned, that's what I've always used it for. It's to be sort of, I use it on at the end of the fire magic, usually when purifying and dispelling all evil and negative intent. So everything you've seen so far is not Vesta powder. <laughs> this is Vesta powder. Doesn't it look dodgy? <laughs> it's possibly why they don't send it through the post. Right, so if I take a pinch. It smells nice as well. You can actually use it on its own. It, I actually love the scent by itself. I've forgotten what's in it. <laughs> That's really good for a video, isn't it? Let's do it once more and hopefully you can see a bit better if I angle myself. So it's a bit of a fizz bang, really. A fizz bang. It um, basically empowers any magical workings you do with a fire working. You could, technically if you had a big outside bonfire and you were safe, you could put little bits on it to make it fizz. You would have to be very, very careful with Vesta powder. 
it's not something that I would recommend using in large quantities. I would be very, very careful where and how you store it, and don't store it next to anything other anything else flammable. Mine goes in a, in a drawer, in a box, in the dark, um, away from everything else. I'm sh I'm going to try and find how you make it, or the ingredients. Because, well, you can get it on eBay. Fair enough. I'm impressed you can get it on eBay. Because every time I go looking for it, you can't see it online. And I recently ish was in Nottingham to visit my sister a couple of months ago, and they actually had it in a shop there. And I was, I grabbed it because I hadn't seen any online for such a long time. So yeah, there, there is that be, be wary of it aspect, you know, treat it with respect. Okay. To probably make Vesta powder is equal parts saltpetre and equal part cornmeal. I take it that's corn flour. Warning, saltpetre is toxic when handled. Wear latex gloves. Oh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so don't be eating it either. <laughs> I'll read you what I just read, because it's quite funny. Vesta powder is not pie, unless you want to eat it and end up in hospital for salt pizza poisoning. Do not eat salt pizza. Right, fair enough. I am used myself. Okay, so you've seen me use it, it's a little bit fizzy. I'm going to put the lid on the cauldron in a second after I've just finished this video. But um, used for dispelling negativity, getting rid of evil, adding an extra bit of a pop of a fizz at your end of your spell. It's basically to force. Not force. It's a bit like the primal sacred fire, it gives it an extra bit of a boost to any spell work. It's an extra bit of a punchy punchy nature, you know, you really want something, you need it done quickly, bump, and it's, it's a bit like Dragon's Blood Resin in that sense, in that energy, in that vibration. So, there we go, I found out what, <laughs> I knew what it was in the back of my head, but I'm so warm and I haven't stopped today, so I really wanted to um, look that up and check it out for you, so there it is, and it is to honour Vesta and the home and the hearth, so any fire working within, you know, if you really wanted a good purify of your sacred space, you could use a purifying blend and then the fizz on the end. That would be perfect for that sort of thing. So that's it for Vesta powder. I hope you got a good enough look. I don't want to go too much because I'm, I'm indoors and I, I, you know, you can't risk it with, you've got to be safe with it. Be very, very safe with it, especially the first few times you use it. It's potentially one of the more dangerous things, you know, you, you have to treat these things with respect. So that's it for this video on Vesta powder. I think I've covered most things. I'm a bit warm, I'm a bit frazzled and I haven't stopped since 6am and I'm not going to be stopping all, all day. So I hope I hope I covered um, at least some of the basics of Vesta powder. If you have any questions, pop them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Many blessings.